Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to my last play of Cross of the Dutchman. Cross of the Dutchman is an action adventure game based on the true story of folk legend Pier Gerlofs Donia. So, this is a, uh, a Dutch game. Well, it's an English game, obviously. I mean, it's in English, but it's made by a Dutch studio about a Dutch legend um, in Friese. He was essentially, as far as I understand it, I personally, even though I'm Dutch, I've never really i mean i've heard his name before I've, i didn't really know the story though but apparently he is essentially like a william wallace but obviously a less known william wallace and on a smaller scale william wallace but he also um made an army and to to fight the oppressors essentially which in this case were the saxons um trying to take a piece of land from the dutch or from frieza as it was back in the day i guess which was like uh common day or, or nowadays um, Friesland, which is a province in the Netherlands. But anyway, um, so yeah, Cross of the Dutchman. It's, it's an action adventure, click and fight people essentially. Um, I did a bit of test recording earlier and it seems pretty cool. So I think we're just gonna start a new game and I'll show you guys how, what it's all about. Also, uh, I should mention, I got a review copy from the developers. Um, this doesn't mean like I, I don't know if some people are confused about this because I had some people comment on that on a different video that I did. Uh, just because I get a review copy, that's not like a paid advertisement, so I don't have to even mention it to you guys. It's not like uh, illegal if I don't, um, but I just do it because I think it's a nice gesture towards the uh, developers who gave me a few copy just to do a let's play on their game. I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, um, yeah, they gave me a copy to play their game, and I'm excited to do so. Anyway, let's jump in and see what happens. Right, anyway, so yeah, I started the game already, but I'll just uh, overwrite that. Sure, you want to start over? Yes. Very sure. Phew, I'm glad I'm finished with that. I'm working up quite an appetite. I really hope Rince has prepared something good today. So Rince is our wife, as I understand it. Um, I assume these are like actual names as well. So his name is Pierre, so he's the character we play. So you can see this is essentially how we play. We click somewhere and then we just do stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just continue on. I, I think I wanted to say something, but I've sort of forgotten. So let's just continue on. Hello, dearest. Have you finished preparing that field for growing season? I've been breaking my back over it all morning. It's all been taken care of. Well done. I've been busy as well. I'm afraid I haven't gotten around to preparing a meal yet. Hmm. Anything I can do to help out? Yes, you can, actually. We're all out of meat and fish, so you could head to the market at the crossroads and trade some of our vegetables. Do I really have to? Can't you send one of the kids? I haven't seen those rascals all morning. I, I just saw one running over there. Please just gather some vegetables around the farm and take it to the market. You can use the minimap to find your way around. Minimap? Minimap? What on earth are you talking about? Don't make this too complicated, dear. Just make sure you're back home before sundown. <laughs> Alright, I'll see what I can find. Okay, so we got to search around the farm for vegetables. Well, there's one right here, so that's perfect. We'll just grab that, and there's one down here as well. So, this is the prologue, or chapter one, I'm not sure. Um... So this should be all fairly simple. I mean, I played this and then I basically stopped as I got to the city, which is in about 10 minutes or so. It's really not that uh, big, the pro prologue bit. Uh, some more vegetables right there. Go back to Rinse. We can actually talk to our kids here as well. Daddy! <laughs> Called Wobble. <laughs> yes, darling, what's up? Can we play at the other side of the farm? Only if Wool can keep an eye on you both. All right, Dad. All right, da. Um, right, and then there's... Hey, you, come here. Come, come here, I want to talk to you. Did you see the little chicken, chickens in the barn, Dad? Cute, right? 
No, not yet. How many are there? I counted seven. By God, seven little chickens. I guess they'd just be chicks, wouldn't they? Can we actually go into the barn? I don't think so. Right, we gotta go to Rinse, our wife. What an odd name. All these names are odd, to be fair. Like, for, even for me as a Dutch person, it's like super old names, I guess. Here you go, a whole bunch of vegetables gathered from around the farm. Thanks, my love, but it looks like you forgot to bring the carrots. Go across the ditch and get to the field to the east of the farm. You're kidding me, right? Off you go. Wow. What a family this is. Right, I actually happen to know that you go this way, because I played it before. Because I was looking around, like, how the hell do I get over here? But it's quite simple. Really. And there's an old tent here. Looks like someone set up camp on my land. I need to be more watchful of what happens this close to home. Yeah, you'd think that if someone were to set up a tent and a campfire and all that, you'd probably notice, but I guess not if you're peer. There you are, you stupid carrots. About time. I'm really starting to feel like an errand boy here. Grab those carrots. Alright, let's go back to rinse. There's some grace out there. Hey, you! Give us all your money or we'll take your life. What the heck? What are you doing on my property? Shut up and hand over the money. Leave my farm right now and I'll, or I will make short work of you both. Ha! We'll take that challenge any day. Well, that was a stupid decision. Get out of here. Take this, fiend. These fools thought they could come to my place and rob me? The nerve. Oh yeah, they, they were completely wrong about that. Erected in memory of Benedictus and Etteca Donia. Rest in peace. Alright. Now we have the ability to smash uh, crates and the like, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right away. There's nothing in there, somewhat disappointingly. Because otherwise we're gonna have to go over... Well, we don't have to technically do this, but, you know, we're, since we're here... Oh, I wonder. Maybe it doesn't drop gold yet, because we can't technically obtain... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe we obtain gold later, and from then on out we get it? I was doing this before, and it worked fine. Also, it seems that for some reason I, this game is recording at, a, at 30, even though I set, set it to 60. Let's break a few more. Yeah, I definitely got gold from these ones earlier when I was trying this out, so let's actually... Um, oh, let's head back, and then maybe we can get gold after that. But I guess I'll just render these out on 30 FPS then. I was, I was wanting to do 60, but it seems a bit... Yeah, now it's up to 40 again, I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the graphics. You'd think that I would be able to run a game like this at 60. No, no problem with my computer. Anyway. You won't believe what just happened. I got ambushed by a bunch of crooks on our own land. Yikes, were you hurt? I'm fine. Not sure about those guys. Not, not sure about those guys, to be honest. Things have become more dangerous ever since the Saxon soldiers have reached the village of Kimsward and Arum. And now you've run the strangers on our ver on our on our on our very door. Oh my god, on our very doorstep. What's next? Who can tell? I'll make sure to keep a watchful eye from now on. Perhaps it's best if you take some of our savings with you to the crossroads, just in case you need to pay to stay out of trouble. I guess it can't hurt, but I'd rather deal with it in a different way. Yeah, I think now we can obtain gold. So I'll smash some... Actually, let's just get our savings first. Oh yeah, you can see now we have like a little gold thingy down there. Alright, let's get our savings, but we'll... Yeah, see, now these ones drop actual gold as well. And then there's actual chest. Handing over our savings to one of those Saxon bastards would be the last thing I'd do. Alright, Pierre, take it easy. No need to go all mental yet. Okay, I have to know there's a chest over here as well. So much metagaming going on. Oh wait, what the hell? It's not here. Okay, well, when I played it before, it was there, so maybe it's randomized. That, that's actually pretty cool if that's the case. Or maybe it's just, nah, you, you get that chest on your first playthrough, but after that... You're, you're, you're effed, buddy. Maybe it's in a different place. I don't know. I can't see right now. But I do want to loot because I don't know how important gold is, but we may as well have a quick look around to smash all the boxes up we can find. Get a bit of extra gold. Especially since I wasted a bunch just now, since they didn't spawn any gold yet. But yeah, I'm wondering where that other one went. Say goodbye to Vince. I guess we'll do that first and then we'll head off that way again. Well, I'm off to the crossroads now. I'll be back before you know it. Please don't get yourself in any kind of trouble. If you ever get lost, you can use the world map to find your way back home. Wow, the world map. It's interesting. Well, she's obviously going to be dead by the time we get back. That's a guarantee. Ooh, these ones have either respawned or I hadn't destroyed those ones yet. Hello, cow. These cows look great. I bet they would look even better on my plate. Ah! Humor. 
Okay, because I, when I first again played, there was also a, uh, a big chest over here. But I guess that's also not the case right now. Man, I had like a hundred more gold when I played before. Oh, there's one right there. Haha. -ha. Get out of my way. Pig? I want to say pig, but I'm not sure. There we go, there's 30 golden right in there, and that's pretty good. Oh, and there's another one right there. Well, perfect. Get out of my way, bush. Okay. Let's continue on. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to murder over there as well, so I might want to head over there real quick. Oh, I left the gold from that one. Okay, so that's where we have to go. That's essentially as far as I played, but let me destroy some more boxes and things. These boxes stand no chance. This guy's fist must be like really hurting right now. Anything over here, perhaps? Ah, another special one. Look at that. Money in the bank right there. And there's a whole lot more down here as well. Yeah, these ones we saw. Oh, there's a person right there. Let's uh, have a look down here. Oh, look at that. Another one of those special ones. Getting rich over here. Man, I wish I had a farm that just had a ton of, like, chests all over the place which had money in them. Okay, I'm stuck over here. Right, let's talk to whoever this is. Yo, you. How you do? Oh, right. Let's go around this place. Good day, Pierre. Hello, Wilk. I ran into some trouble with a couple of brigands. Have they been giving you any trouble? I did notice two odd characters earlier, but I've kept my distance. Things have been uh, getting more dangerous lately, you know, with the Saxon soldiers and Kim's Sword and Arum. I've heard about those fucks from the traders at the crossroads. We're keeping to ourselves over here, but you be careful, Pierre. A big guy like you is bound to draw their attention. Don't worry, I'll take good care. Alright. Okay, I think we're gonna head off now. Let's quickly have a check down here. Two more barrels and then we'll leave this place. Alright, let's head to the crossroads. We can do that. I can head to the crossroads real good. And cross right here into the crossroads. Perfect! There we go. Off we are to adventures. Hello, peasants. Oh, trouble at the crossroads. This is this chapter. Trade your vegetables at the market. Okay. Let's do that. Let's trade our vegetables. Oh, but before we do that, smash all these crates. These crates stand no chance against the might of our fists. Afternoon, big guy. Hello, good man. Okay, I thought it was a woman for a second. I would like to trade my vegetables for some of your finest fish. Ah, you've come to the right place. My fish is as fresh as you can get, but I'm afraid I won't be able to trade with you today. Coins only. Are you saying something is wrong with my vegetables? I've been growing these on my own land, you know. Oh no, I'm sorry, your vegetables look fine. It's just that I need to pay a lot more taxes now that the Saxon soldiers have come to the village. That's why I can only sell my fish for coins. These guys are everywhere, and now they're getting between me and my meal? Look here, big guy. Those soldiers have been... I've taken a good portion of my catch today, because I was not able to pay them. I'll trade with you, if you can get my fish back. Sounds like I'll be doing all the work, but those hoodlums are getting on my nerves. I'll return your fish. Thank you, just be careful. They are well armed. Okay. I'll smash them good and proper, but before we do that, let's have a quick look around this town. There might be more chests to smash, perhaps. I don't really want to go like all over the place looking for chests, but yeah, these things, for example probably worth doing but I don't know how much money we'll need in the end I think there's actually a way to yeah you can see how many like treasure chests there are in this area or maybe in this chapter or I'm not sure what that means exactly but yeah either way there is a few more so we can go that way but let's just when I mean, we've got one secret chest that's good enough right that'll get us through the entire game hold it right there peasant you pleb let me pass I have no business with you Actually, we have a- that's the only people we have business with, right? Oh, but I'm afraid you do. See, everyone has to pay a toll in order to get to our room, no matter how big and stupid they are. What did you just call me? Are you deaf, pleb? I like the word pleb just so much more. <laughs> and you paid a toll or we won't let you pass. What kind of scum would extort people out of their hard-earned money? Someone ought to teach you a lesson. I guess that someone is us. You fool, you're picking a fight you can't win. Well, we'll see about that, shall we? Oh man, I just switched targets like a beast. Take this, fiend. You, you want some as well? Alright, looks like I knocked those guys out cold. Better start looking for those fish, and then head straight back to the fishmonger. Let's do that. But before we do that, 
Let's murder these chests. They did deserve that. Anything else around here? No. Alright, fish. Oh, what's this? Hold it! There's a lieutenant. Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing? Well, uh, you see? Enough, we saw what you did. <laughs> Why did you even... No, sur no surrendering, get the hell out of our camp. Really? I can take them on. We just took on three, no problem. We can take five. That was close. I guess these guys can't be messed with. I need to come up with something different if I want to get my hands on those fish. Fish? Okay, ask the fishmonger for help. Wait, hold on. What can we do here? We can talk to this... Ah, oh, this lake is so incredibly beautiful and full of fish. Oh, okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that again. Right. So I guess, yeah. Oh, there's a drawbridge there as well. Interesting. Well, we're not going to be able to get in there anymore, so let's ask the fishmonger, see what he's got for us. Hello again, big guy. Were you able to retrieve my fish? I'm afraid not. I was able to fight off a couple of soldiers, but backup arrived before I knew it. They threw me out of their camp. That is quite troublesome. You should easily be able to take on even a large group of those Saxons. Perhaps you should go and find Swarte Gart. Gert? Swarte Gert. Swarte means, I guess, like if you change the S to a Z, it would be Swarte, which is black. And Gert is just a weird way of saying Gert, I guess. I'm not sure. It's just, it's old names. It makes sense. He's the blacksmith from Arum. I'm sure he has something that will help you out. Gert, huh? Never heard of him, but I don't think I'll be able to reach him anyway. Those soldiers have blocked the entire road, and there is no way of paying the to them at all after what just happened. What's, that's what I figured. No worries, Gert often travels to Kimsford to help shoe horses on the farms. I've seen him come by just this morning. You should be able to catch up with him quickly. Well, why not? Where did you say I could find this guy? Just head east to Kimsford. Once you get there, you will have to ask around. I'm sure people have seen him come by. Alright, bud. Thanks. So we'll go that way, but before we do that, let's have a quick look around this way now. Because we haven't gone this way yet. I mean, there's still like eight treasure chests here, so we really should be able to find some. Oh, there's one right there. Would you look at that? How do we get in here, though? Can we actually... Ah, no. Maybe. Can we... I think we can smash through those things. Can we break these ones as well? A few barrels? That's what you get for messing with the bull. You didn't use crates, did you, sir? Alright, we are so rich right now. We just retire now. Like, that that's just it. Like, we never did any rebellious stuff. We just... We retired. Bought some really expensive house somewhere. I feel like I can go this way as well. No, probably not. Okay. Never mind then. Never you mind. Uh, we can go over here, though, on this little thing. Surely there will be something of worth around here somewhere. Perhaps. Nope. We can't go that way. Can't go in there. Oh, there's two regular chests here. A few uh, gold in there as well. Okay, well, you know what? Let's move on. Uh, there's still a few other places to go, but I'm sure we'll come back here at some point. I mean, I'm quite certain, because... We still need to get our fish. The road to Kingsworth. Okay. Right, this is the road to Kingsworth. Now to find that blacksmith. Let's... Oh, can you help me? Hello. You seen a Swarte Gert, the blacksmith, come by? I think I did see a blacksmith riding his carrot not too long ago. I think you can still catch up with him. Okay. Which way, though? Up here or down there? I'm gonna go up here. This would be following the road, so, you know, it makes sense, right? Oh, that's blocked off. Whoa, 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 what's going- why are you running? What are you running from? Hello, good man, have you seen a blacksmith coming by recently? I think I saw one just down the road not too long ago. Okay, so I guess it's- it, it is this way, that's fine. Nope. I wanna go this way, though. There's so much to explore. So many treasure chests. Aha! I found another. Give me all your gold treasure chests. Can I go down here? I assume not, no. Okay. I guess we'll not do that. Can I go down here then? I didn't actually see... Oh, there's one right there. I guess I didn't actually see any treasure chests down here, but... It's still a, a road that we can follow, so... There's a bridge here. That's uh, drawn up. Okay. Anything down here, perhaps? That's another bridge to some other place. Man, we are just, like, going all over the place. I'm not even sure where this blacksmith's going to be, but... We're going down here now. These barrels are looking at me funny. 
give me all your money, blacksmith. Oh, hey, wait, hold on. Is that him? Why can't we break those barrels? A few crates. We're always lying too far away when we attack the crate. Right, let's talk to this man. Who are you? He has a, an anvil. Good day, fellow. Hey, it's Gert. Okay, sweet, Tim. What brings you here? You must be Gert. Maybe you can help me. I was thrown out of a soldier's camp, and I need to teach those morons a, re a lesson. I figured you're the kind of guy who can get himself into trouble easily. You're calling me a troublemaker? Easy, fellow. I'm just saying that... He <laughs> yeah, he is going to be a guy who gets himself into trouble very easily. Just saying that you really stand out of the crowd. I'm sure these soldiers love to pick on you. I guess you're not far from the truth, but I have matters to settle. Are you going to help me or not? If I were back at my shop, I would just have just sold you a sword, but since I'm on the road, all I can give you right now is some advice. Well, aren't you the disappointing blacksmith? Alright, I'll take your advice for what it's worth. Actually, my advice is worth about a hundred gold pieces. Well, I, I'm glad I have a whole bunch of gold now. Are you kidding me? This better be a gold-plated advice, then. <laughs> what would you would you expect anything else from a blaster blacksmith like me? Do you want to learn how to beat these soldiers or not? I guess there's no other way. Here's your here's the money. That better be worth it. Thanks. Now listen carefully. What you needed to do is learn to control the, that anger of yours. Build it up and let it all out in one furious blow. Want me to take a breather during a fight? Sounds pretty dumb, now doesn't it? Why don't you give it a try? Keep calm until your stamina bar has filled up, then release a mighty blow. Stamina bar? You sound just as crazy as my wife. <laughs> just give it a shot. You can try punching those barrels over there. Just so you know, using regular punches won't work. Yeah, I tried that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is just... Boom! Get wrecked barrels. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of money in here, which sort of makes up for what we just spent, I guess. That was pretty impressive. I can tell you there's a lot of strength hidden inside those fists of yours. That was awesome. Thanks for the advice. I'll be able to put this to good use. Make your way back to the crossroads and give him hell. Oh, and just so you know, if you ever learn a new move, you can always switch back to those moves you already know. Okay. So what you're saying... ...is that... ...even though this is a game, we can use different moves. That's cool. Who are you? Hmm, tall guy, fierce beard, piercing eyes. You must be pure Donia. Right you are, and who might you be? You don't look like a farmer at all. Well spotted. My name is Seabrent. I became a hunter after deserting the military. The pay was great, but I could not stand the horrendous things they had me do. Are you sure you severed all ties with those bastards? I swear I'll find you and if you wrap me out to those villains. Don't worry, I mean I'm more known to them than you are. Just call on me if you ever need help. If we need someone to aid you against Sa Sa the Saxons. Thanks, but I really don't want to get into more trouble than I already am. He says as he's about to go beat up a bunch of people. I understand. Just know that you can call on me if you need my help. Okay. I wonder what that means. If I literally get an ability to call him or something. That could be cool. I'm going to keep roaming around a little bit. Surely there will be... Oh, there are also some barrels, but... I'm more interested at this point in the big ones. Although these ones do... Oh, here we go. Do count as well, because the, the big ones are only for well, they are, they are 30, which is nice, but then I think like five or six small ones probably makes up for one big one. So it's not like if you miss a big one and you just bunch a few small ones, you miss out on too much. Can I? Okay, how do I get over there? Because I saw one. Can I just walk over this? Oh, I can. Right. Okay. Right, I guess we'll leave through this place now. There was still another chest that I saw earlier, though. Oh, oh, we're all the way back here. Okay, well, that, we took the long road, I guess. I'm not too... Bo oh, there's one right there. I kind of want to get that one. I'm going back. See you later. I want to get that. I mean, it's just... It's right there. It'd be stupid not to get it. Although, I'm not sure how to get there. Or just walk around here somewhere. Oh, through here, maybe? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. 442. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're already doing alright for money, because, like, we've been exploring quite a bit. But it's time to do some quests before you guys get too bored. So let's beat up some Saxon fools. Fools. Return to the fishmonger. Alright. There was still this road down here. Oh, we're gonna actually go on. We can't actually go down that way anyway, so that's fine. Well, in that case, fishmonger. Hey. You've come back. Have you found Swartigert? You bet I have. You'd better get ready to trade those fish with me. I'm putting an end to this right now. Treat the fish from the soldiers. Alright. What is this, by the way? Hello? Anything you're willing to trade? I'm sorry, coins only today. Alright. I guess maybe once we do this fish thing. Because we still need to get meat as well, I think. Oh, that barricade's gone. Hello? 
You again, those soldiers you knocked out are in bad way. We won't go easy on you this time, you filthy peasant! Come and get it. Take this, fiend! Oh my god, that guy was like hanging for a second. Okay, there's a bunch more. So we want to let our stamina regenerate because we can't do it unless it's full, I guess. Take this! Oh man, this is pretty damn sweet. I love those, like, it's like physics. Incredible, I've never felt so strong in all my life. I guess that old blacksmith advice was worth more than I thought. Now let's find those fish and get out of here. I really don't want any more trouble. Oh. I still want to beat up these things though. It's nice, it's like just any other game. You can do it while standing still as well. Which is useful. Right. Fish. Turn the fish to the fishmonger. Let's do that. Why did they put their campfire in the middle of the road? It makes no sense. The sense. It's not there. Error 404. Sense not found. Hello. You're back already? How on earth did you manage that? I took care of those creeps. They started start wearing some armor and I think I think they can push people around. I'm really grateful for your help. Please keep the fish as a token of my gratitude. Haha! Thank you. My wife will be happy to see that I've made a good deal. I can only advise you to keep your head down, big guy. The soldiers will be back, and in far greater numbers, I'm afraid. Let them come. Alright, head back and home and talk to Rince, who will probably be dead by now. I guess I I am I have money. Oh, we can actually buy stuff now. Sweet. So, hold on. So these are like these are different kind of weapons, right? Okay, so that's what this means. So if I hold on, that's if I close. Uh, right, since I only have one, I can't switch. But I know like one through four is different kinds of abilities. So if I were to buy one, like spin punch, it's the most expensive one. That's the least damage, but. I guess it requires the least amount of stamina, maybe? Has a bigger range? I don't know. I feel like I can already afford the best, best one, so I would want to get that. Why can't I get these ones? Because they're staff, so I guess they're actually meant for sword attacks, I see. The range is terrible. I don't know, maybe the double fist, that sounds pretty good. Or maybe I'll just keep what I've got. I don't have to buy anything yet. We'll just go with this for now and see how good this is. And then if we start noticing that we aren't doing too much damage, maybe we'll switch or something. Okay, so I think crates and such respawn, but you don't get loot from them if you destroy them again. So keep that in, in mind as well. Alright, so we're heading back to Rinse, our lovely, lovely wife. He's about half the size of us. Let's uh, test that theory again, destroy these ones. Yeah, they don't drop anything anymore. Alright. That's cool. I actually like it because otherwise we'd be wasting so much time destroying more and more barrels, wouldn't we? So we can see here as well, actually. We've got five out of seven. There's still two more crates somewhere. Like expensive ones. There's one. Ah, see that one? I told you there was one there. It just wasn't just now, I guess. Okay, the farm's not burning or anything, so she's probably. Yep, she's still alive. That's good. Right, let me just get this chest real quick before all hell breaks loose. I'm not even sure if that's going to happen, but. I've got a feeling at some point this isn't like he's gonna have a reason to, to go up against all these Saxons and stuff and it's probably gonna be his wife dying or something hello love I was able to get us some nice fresh fish for free are you sure those fish haven't gone bad what trader would just give you his products away give his products away without asking in, something in return would you mind kid I'm trying to have a conversation with your mother here well a bunch of soldiers were messing with the fishmonger I helped him out and got the fish at no charge are you out of your mind, Pierre? What do you think will happen now? Next thing you know, the soldiers will be coming to our house. You can't put our family in danger like this. Don't you worry about that. I'm be here. I'll be here to protect you. I don't... I don't know about that, Pierre. snap. Pierre, there you are. You must help me right away. Oh god, John. This is some kind of betrayal, isn't it? This is to lure me away. The Saxons spayed you off. You're gonna lure me away and the Saxons are gonna burn down my house and kill my wife and children and rape them and all that. I bet you that's gonna happen. Calm down, man. What's wrong? Those bastards have raided our farm. The entire crossroads are swarming with them. You need to help me right now. These guys don't know when to quit, do they? Don't you worry, I'll help you out. 
Alright, but before we help him out, I am going to end the episode there. So I bet there's going to be tons of combat in the next one. Sorry if I uh, went a little bit crazy on the searching for money, but at least we'll, we should be fine for a while, I'd imagine, because we've done so much searching already. But yeah, I'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Cross of the Dutchman. I, uh, I kind of like it so far. It's pretty cool. Um, and until next time, have a good day and goodbye.